Hello everyone, welcome to problem 2.14 of David Griffith's Electrodynamics. So this problem states, to find the electric field, inside a sphere that carries a charge density proportional to the distance from the origin, which I've written out here. So the charge density of this uh, sphere is proportional to the radius r, and I've just written the proportionality constant as k. And it gives us a hint that this charge density is not uniform, and therefore you must integrate to get the enclosed charge. So when, if you think about this, since the charge density is proportional to the radius r, that means as the radius r increases, then so does the charge density. So essentially, as you get further and further away from the uh, center of the sphere, you get more and more charge uh, accumulated um, in that volume elements. So um, there's more charge on the outer part of the sphere than there is closer to the center of the sphere, essentially. And so we don't have, uh, it's not uniformly smeared as usual. Okay, so <clears throat> how do we solve this? Well, of course, we have Gauss's law. So let's just write down Gauss's law. So we have that the, uh, the flux of the electric field through um, our Gaussian surface is equal to the charge enclosed divided by epsilon naught. And our Gaussian surface is going to be inside of the sphere because it asks us to find the electric field inside of the sphere. So our Gaussian surface is going to be a sphere of radius little r. Um, and if we write down <coughs> the uh, the left side of this equation. So at our sphere of radius little r, our Gaussian surface, the electric field, the magnitude is going to be constant along our, our spheres, our Gaussian surfaces, uh, surface. So that'll just be E, the magnitude of E, times the integral over the surface area, which is four pi r squared. And this is equal to Q enclosed over epsilon naught. Now we gotta find the charge enclosed uh, in our Gaussian surface and that's gonna be a little bit more trickier because we can't just do a proportion or we can't just do a fraction um, as if uh, like we can when the charge density is uniform. We have to actually integrate our charge density over the volume. So Q enclosed is equal to the integral of the volume of rho of r uh, dv. So this is going to be the integral from phi is equal to two, 0 to 2 pi. The integral for theta is equal to 0 to pi. And this is going to, oh, I forgot my d phi. And then this is going to be sine of theta d theta. Then we have the integral from R, we'll do R prime as our integration variable. So R prime goes from zero to R. And so we have KR, which I'll pull K out to the front since it's just a constant. So we have R times R squared. That comes from the differential volume element. So this is gonna be R cubed and then just DR. So these first two integrals are uh, pretty simple. That evaluates to 4 pi. Uh, and then we have k. So q enclosed is equal to 4 pi k. And then this integral evaluates to r to the 4 over 4. So we have r to the 4 uh, divided by 4. So this just evaluates to pi k r to the fourth power and therefore plugging q enclosed back into our uh, equation and uh, and keeping this side so we have that the electric field i'm just going to solve it um, it's going to be equal to so we plug in pi for uh, pi k r to the four um, we divide by four pi r squared so that's going to give us and divide by epsilon naught we have um, 
Actually, if we want to keep 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught, then we'll keep pi on top. So we'll get pi k r to the fourth divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r squared, which is just equal to pi k r to uh, r squared, sorry, over 4 pi epsilon naught. And this will be directed in the radial direction. So this is the answer. Oops, just trying to bubble this in. So our answer is pi k times r squared divided by 4 pi epsilon naught directed in the radial direction. All right, so that's about it. Gauss's law again saves us um, from doing a ton of work. It's just a bunch of little simple integrals and, and uh, just taking advantage of the spherical symmetry of the problem. So yeah, that's about it. If you guys enjoyed this video, uh, feel free to drop me a comment and a like and uh, a subscription. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye.